I like the fact that it was really interactive. It was a lot easier to, to have conversations and discussions. There's no inhibition. You can say what you want, you can be who you are, and it's, it's really a beautiful thing. What seems as testimonials of a great learning experience within a classroom goes on beyond the brick and mortar environment of Valencia Community College. Nested in the Central Florida region, in an environment shrouded by greenery and seemingly bucolic peace, Valencia Virtual Campus emerges as an exciting alternative to the physical education environment. Located in a virtual island inside the three-dimensional user-created digital universe of Second Life, Valencia Virtual Campus offers a unique and immersive experience for students. It helps us take them to locations and places that we can never do within the brick and mortar walls of our classrooms. Taking them on a virtual field trip to the Louvre or 1800s France. It's things that would be impossible within our actual physical classroom environment. The virtual campus provides faculty and students with a familiar and welcoming setting as it mirrors the brick and mortar campus, but with a twist. I conceived of the um, virtual Valencia campus um, through referencing other um, university campuses in Second Life that I had visited. Um, I also referenced um, the architectural forms and um, materials used in the actual uh, real-life Valencia campuses. Things like concrete, um, brick, uh, glass, and um, I also brought in some um, more architecturally advanced forms uh, inspired from um, some of the uh, buildings in Valencia, Spain, um, uh, after which our campus is named. The Arts Building is the most inspired by Spanish architecture. This open space is suitable for exhibits and performances. It is set up for the night lighting in order to enhance the structure of the ribs. The virtual campus design is anchored in best practices for creating immersive learning environments in Second Life. It provides collaborative zones, recreational areas, and lecture rooms all conceived to integrate faculty and student needs. The welcome area has a campus directory and shelves with free objects, which provide current and prospective students with information about Valencia Community College. The environment includes a sandbox, which is a hands-on area where students can build their own items for six hours before the virtual items are returned back to them. Students are using uh, Virtual Valencia enthusiastically. I've seen students in the sandbox area building things and uh, sometimes run across things that they've left behind, so I know they're using that. Organic-inspired meeting rooms promote a collaborative atmosphere and bring naturalism into the virtual education world. It's been known for a while that looking at natural forms, especially trees, uh, makes you feel better and uh, act nicer. So I was hoping to capture some of that in this environment. Inspired by the cylindrical and avant-garde look of the East Campus Library, this immersive learning environment goes beyond to become a virtual campus without walls. The biggest um, innovation I did was taking the walls down uh, off of the classrooms and allowing the professors to customize their areas uh, for each class. A breathtaking balloon ride reveals multimedia-rich classrooms set above cloud level. The virtual classrooms provide a space for active learning and multimedia interactivity. Students are encouraged to finish the classroom by contributing objects and shareable media. The 20th Century Humanities Classroom is enabled with shareable wall panels that students can place their own images onto the screen. The panels on the, on the wall are set to the student group, which means that the students have access to modify them. One student can drag an image onto the wall piece, and then another student can retrieve it from there. The open, virtual, three-dimensional classrooms are enabled with multimedia technologies, including PowerPoint, audio, and video displays. 
Professor Frame, who teaches mythology, um, streams short videos uh, relevant to the course into his classroom. And this is something that's di more difficult to do in uh, uh, a learning management system where it's not synchronous. I have a mic constantly so the students hear my lectures and I also, also have my PowerPoint lectures on in Second Life. You can get a sense of the large stones that were used as the foundation stones. The three-dimensional learning environment affords faculty new opportunities that are not available in brick and mortar or regular online courses. Professor Frames is able to decorate the three-dimensional classroom with virtual objects pertaining to the given culture his class is currently analyzing. In a regular classroom, you have no control at all over the decorations in the room, uh, but in Second Life, you have complete control over that and as you get to know uh, the workings of the program, uh, you can actually make your classroom look very, very much like the subject of the lecture material. Having an avatar to interact among students and teachers establishes a sense of connectedness and presence, absent in today's disembodied online classroom. It elicits emotional involvement and a higher level of engagement with a deep impact on students. I see the professor as his avatar, so we did get to interact and talk and ask questions, which in an online class you don't get. So, and it's really fun. Having the avatars was good too because you still felt like you were in a classroom. You still felt like you were amongst your peers. And then there's no disconnection from the professor, you know. Everyone got heard. No one had to feel like they, were, they weren't being heard at all. There is a consensus among students and teachers of the unique benefits of multimodal communication in the virtual classroom. Professor Frame teaches his course in voice lecture, but at the same time there's a stream of text going on um, uh, from the students and they're responding to things that he says, uh, asking questions and um, talking amongst themselves but topic related, and the professor could stop any time and respond to something that uh, has been brought up in chat or answer a question there. In a regular classroom, they would never interrupt you right when you're talking, but in Second Life, they feel quite free to type in a question while you're, or, while you're talking. And then when that appears on the screen, of course, uh, it will be up there for a couple minutes. It gives you time to kind of conclude a sentence and then uh, respond to that particular question concerning the lecture. One of the unique features of Second Life is that this open virtual world is persistently available for exploration and learning. There are other worlds to explore and people to meet. There are many sites uh, on Second Life that are appropriate to take my class on field trips. Uh, for example, if we're studying about Japanese mythology, or Egyptian mythology. Uh, many of the sites are directly connected and we can take field trips by teleporting into different areas uh, as part of the class. The success of Valencia's virtual campus is impressive. But in three semesters I have had no drops. The average grades have improved uh, dramatically. They've improved to a point where it's almost embarrassing because everybody's getting A's almost, and I'm not an easy grader. Virtual three-dimensional classrooms provide a platform for faculty and students to interact in a flexible environment, pliable enough to accommodate the different needs and styles for teaching and learning. Thank you very much for uh, joining us on this tour of the Valencia Virtual Campus, and we hope you'll come and visit.